So last month, my dad, who's recently decided that YouTube tutorials are a substitute for actual expertise, announced that he was done paying for overpriced Wi-Fi. This sounded suspiciously like the time he tried to cut her hair after binge-watching Barber videos, but the family let him have his moment. The next day, he emerged from the garage with an armful of empty coffee tins, a ball of string, and the kind of confidence that usually precedes a trip to the ER. We're going off the grid, he declared, as if he'd just invented the concept of thrift. He spent the afternoon stringing tin cans between our porch, the neighbor's fence, and, somehow, the mailbox. By sunset, our backyard looked less like a home and more like a conspiracy theorist's dream catcher. Dad explained his ingenious system, you talk into one can, and the message travels through the string to the next household. It's a peer-to-peer -peer network. My little sister asked where the password was, and he handed her a post-it note with please don't listen, Jason written on it. For a moment, I wondered if he might actually be onto something. The real fun started when the neighbors got involved. Mr. Jenkins next door heard us through the cans and joined in, then Mrs. Patel from across the street attached her own coffee tin to the string web. Soon, we had a full-on backyard forum, complete with arguments about whose turn it was to mow the strip of grass between our driveways. At one point, my dad tried to upgrade the bandwidth by taping two strings to each can, and my mom threatened to put a parental block on anyone discussing HOA fees. By the end of the week, we had a dozen people sitting in lawn chairs each hollering into their own tin can while the string twisted every which way. I realized then that, thanks to dad's homemade Wi-Fi, we'd basically invented a group chat where everyone could literally hear themselves talking in circles. I guess you could say our network was less worldwide web and more neighborhood wide wobble.